I'm Mindy McGinnis, author of Not A Drop To Drink, and I'm here to talk to you about fashion in my world. Um, it doesn't really factor in that much, but fashion can influence your survival rate if you know what you're doing in my world. So I'm going to illustrate how that is the case. An absolute must have in the world of Not A Drop To Drink is a good pair of Carhartts. A lot of people don't know what those are. Growing up on a farm, Carhartts was probably one of my first words, so I don't understand this, but I'm here to help you understand. Carhartts. You can tell from the state of these things that I do actually wear them. Um, these are not just for a good time out in the town on a Friday night. These are very useful, wear them a lot. And one reason why my character, not a drop to drink, would wear these is because they're fully lined. They're gonna keep you nice and warm all the time. You're not gonna freeze to death if you're wearing your car hearts. Secondly, as you can see, they kind of just make you look like a blob. Really helpful. From a distance, you might be mistaken for a dude. Also a good thing. Another great thing to have is a hat. Your hat also keeps you from freezing to death. And if you jam your hair into it, you look even more like a dude. Looking like a dude is a pretty big positive, honestly. You, being a chick is hard anyway, and then being a chick in a world where people are just running around and doing whatever they want all the time is even harder. So, Carhartts and a hat. Lastly, one of the best accessories to have in the world of not a drop to drink is a handy dandy red bandana. With this, you can alert your friends that it's you approaching the house or the source of water and you don't get shot. In the end, you might not look sexy, but you're alive.